Space is closer than you think. When you're flying in an airliner at 11 kilometers above sea level, three quarters of all the air in the atmosphere is beneath you. At just 20 kilometers above sea level, the pressure is so low that water boils at body temperature. Any altitude above 20 kilometers is like being in space as far as the human body is concerned. But the atmosphere extends further, getting thinner and thinner the higher you go. In the upper reaches of the atmosphere, charged particles blown off the surface of the sun smash into widely spaced air molecules, creating spectacular aurora. This is the view from about 400 kilometers up. From here, the atmosphere is just a delicate glow. But this is all there is between us and space. It protects and nurtures all life on the surface. The edge of space is just a hundred kilometers above the ground. Rise above this altitude and you're officially an astronaut. 99.99997% of the air in the atmosphere lies below this level. This shows the distribution of ozone in the atmosphere. It is densest at an altitude of about 26 kilometers. If we separated the ozone from the rest of the air and brought it all together at sea level pressure and temperature, it would form a layer just about three millimeters thick. But that's not how ozone is found. This is the ozone layer, the diaphanous region of the stratosphere that filters out 99% of the harmful UVB radiation in sunlight. Ozone is continually created and destroyed in the atmosphere as oxygen interacts with UV. It's a dynamic process, but man-made chemicals can break the cycle. If you brought all the air in the atmosphere together at sea level pressure and 15 degrees centigrade, this is how much there'd be. It would fit in a sphere just 2,000 kilometers across. Within that air, there is about three billion tons of ozone, which if you brought it all together, would look like this. All life on Earth relies on this precious gas in the stratosphere. It's potent, but it's vulnerable. It doesn't take much to disrupt the dynamic process of ozone production. CFCs would quickly have depleted our ozone, but the Vienna Convention has saved the ozone layer from destruction. Ongoing stewardship will secure it.